it's me Nia. I am a huge, huge, huge fan of Urban Decay eyeshadow and just their makeup in general. I think it's one of the best brands that you can get out there. And my first experience was with the Naked 2 palette, which I love to pieces. And it was so good that I had to save up for the Naked Smoky, which is amazing too. I've recently started playing around with a bit more colour in my eyeshadows and since most of my palettes are more neutral with browns, golds and greys, I was looking for something a bit different for a going out look. I was in Dub I was in Dubbenham's. I was in Debenhams the other day and I was looking at the Urban Decay makeup and I spotted the electric palette which was really 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 bright like almost neon colours and I was debating on getting it but I don't think I'm quite ready for the commitment of such bright colours but after chatting with the shop assistant she suggested this which is the limited edition Alice in Wonderland eyeshadow palette which was inspired by the new Disney movie Alice Through the Looking Glass I also like how as well as the five different eyeshadow looks they have a lipstick which goes with each look and I just think that's really cool. The colours are just perfect for what I was looking for. They're bright but not too bright. They are so well pigmented, last forever and just blend like a dream. Just to start off with, look at this box. It's absolutely gorgeous and when you open up the top section it has a mirror with a Cheshire Cat quote, we're all mad here which I quite like and then it has some double doors which say I'm not strange, weird, off nor crazy my reality is just different from yours which I think is really cute and when you open them up are you ready for this? I don't think you are it's amazing there's a butterfly a butterfly like come on I think that's what won me over the most <laughs> just forget the eyeshadow, the butterfly it's amazing. In total there are 20 shades which are grouped into 5 rows that are said to reflect the colours of the characters. These are Alice, the Mad Hatter, Mirana, the White Queen, Erisabeth, the Red Queen slash Queen of Hearts and the new character Time. Now this might seem quite a lot of money at £43 but with the maths I got 10% off, so by my calculations that brought it down to £38.70 and then if you compare this to the Poundland eyeshadow, for instance that's just £1 per shadow which might seem good but it's quite thin and not very much product in it whereas if you divide the price by the 20 different colours that works at about £1.93 each so it's quite a bargain if you ask me. Now compare that to individual eyeshadows in MAC which start at about £10, that would make the equivalent of this palette £200 in MAC and in Bobbi Brown I saw some comparable eyeshadows the other day that were £17.50 which would make this palette in Bobbi Brown come in at a staggering £350 so you can see here that even though £43 sounds like quite a lot of money, it's actually surprisingly good value for some incredible eyeshadow. Now for the bad news, being limited edition means that there weren't many to start with to cause excitement and high demand, so I bought the last one in my local Debenhams and now they seem to be completely sold out everywhere, but people are selling them on eBay but for around double the price. So what I thought I'd do now to jazz it up a bit is recreate the looks of the five different characters starting with Alice.
you first died Before you came round I was ready to slow down Before you came round I was heading for a small disaster Before you came round I was ready to blow me down <laughs> video if you did please give it a huge thumbs up and subscribe to my channel comment down below if you own any urban decay eyeshadow or makeup and what your opinion of it is and i will see you next time goodbye